Hey guys, welcome to this channel. Uh, so this channel is all about learning about various concepts that are involved in data science, be it SQL, Python, deep learning, machine learning, data analysis, etc. In very plain, simple English language. This video is the very first part of trying to learn SQL using lead code questions. So lead code has, uh, you guys might have heard about it, that it has a lot of practice questions. And we will be starting uh, from the very basics. I will try to go over the question, try to explain what the question is asking us to do, what are some caveats or what are some things that we need to keep in mind. Maybe uh, there is some learning moments along the same and then uh, I will be building and explaining as well uh, right from the very basics and we can build up on the basics okay so uh, let's start with this so this is a lead code SQL question um, it is called combining two tables it is a easy it is defined as a difficulty level easy okay so uh, this in this question what they are trying to do they are trying to ask is uh, there are two tables. First table is called person. Second table is called address. Person has three columns called person ID, last name, first name. And these are the various data types. And here we have person ID as the primary key. So what is the primary key of a, uh, of a table? That it has to have unique values. It cannot have null values. And this is how we uniquely identify one row in a table. So like keep that in mind. Secondly, we have address table, which has four different columns, address ID, person ID, city and state. Here in this table, address ID is the primary key. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that here in this table, person ID is acting as a foreign key. So what is a foreign key? Foreign key is basically used to reference another row, usually in a different table, but it is not always the case that it has to have, or it is not a like a required condition that it should always refer to a different table. But it can also reference to the same table, but in this, but in this case, uh, this uh, person ID can reference another column, right? So this is another table column from from a different table. Another aspect of foreign keys are that values are restricted to the values in referenced column or they are null. So basically what happens is that like if what I'm saying here is that so since this is referencing to something in other table, so obviously this can either have value what this is going to have or it is going to have null. Okay. So now once we understand these two different tables, the question is asking us write a SQL query to report the first name, last name, city and state of each person in the person table. Now to while you read this, you like this thing should click in your mind is that it is asking for four different columns, right? Obviously those four different columns are spread out in two different tables. So what you need to do is you need to perform a join. Let's forget about what kind of join, but we need to perform a join because we, we need to return columns that are present in two different tables. Okay. Secondly, it says if the address of a person ID is not present in the address table, report null instead. Uh, so this, this would be uh, clear more in this uh, example that is given here and you should always if you are uh, practicing on lead code yourself you should always refer and try to see the examples that are mentioned here because it is it helps you to understand the question uh, clearly and try to make that logic in your mind before like jumping right into the query so here uh, you can see this table, a person's table has two example records and address table as well has two example records, right? So what it is doing is that uh, when you join these two tables, right? So it is start, it starts looking for uh, 
values so let's say you are joining on person id right so what uh, how the query will work it will take okay person id equal to one goes to address table and sees is there any uh, person id value in this uh, table if it is then it will fetch everything if uh, if there is not then it will return null values now uh, let's start building the query so firstly we have two tables and we need to perform a join right so uh, this is how i write the query like don't start writing from select because select anyway executes after from and everything it is like the fourth or fifth priority uh, statement so always try to think from the very basic we need four different columns which are spread across two different tables so obviously we need to perform a join let's start with performing a join so from person's table from person table and let's alias is as p so that we don't have to write person every time join another table address let's alias it as a on what is the thing that we or what is the column that we can join this on obviously we can join it on person id because the, a person table also has a column called person id and address table also has a person id now if you are a beginner don't make the assumption that if the uh, name of the column in both these uh, like two tables are same then it does mean the same thing no here it could have been called person id uh, in address table it could could be person identity but you need to see whether the values of the, those columns are comparable or not so don't make that assumption it is very important it, uh, if you do that mistake like you would be having a hard time in future so on since uh, here in this case uh, we are joining on column and luckily both the columns has have same name in two different tables so we can write uh, using person id in both so a on p dot person id is equal to a dot person id okay so now let's uh, so now here we are doing left join okay so what is the left join left join is basically keep everything that is present in the left table so basically wherever you write left to so before that whatever table you are going to write it we are going to keep every row from this table and based on the join the column you are performing on then uh, the, the values from the uh, table on the right side of the left uh, left keyword uh, comes in see why are why am i performing left join and why person is on the left side of the left join because here if you see the query says return these four columns for each person in the person table and what did I just say about left joins that the table which is on the left side of this it will keep all the rows for the table uh, which is on the left side of the keyword left right so that is why we are performing left join here so from person p left join address a on p dot person id equal to a dot person id so wherever there is a match you join them and then you return the four columns so since first name and last name are on pers in person table and we have referenced it as p or uh, we have aliased it as p so we write p dot first name p dot last name and now the city and ad states uh, columns are in the other table right address so we write a dot city comma a dot state right now the reason why i am like writing p dot and a dot like even if you don't write p dot or a dot in this particular case remember in this particular case if you don't write it it won't be giving you an error 
because the column names are different in these two tables except person id right but uh, if had had there had been a uh, let's say a div a column called first name here and then you won't have uh, mentioned from which table so when you join the two tables you have all the columns right so which tables column you are returning if you don't mention that then it is going to uh, give you an error saying that that particular column name is ambiguous for example if in this case uh, if this question uh, would have asked return person id as well right so then i would have to write p dot person id if i would have just written person id it would be giving you giving me an error because after joining person and address table after joining these two tables there would be two columns called person id right and when you have two columns called person id and you write person id so you might think that the sql should return both of the columns but it does not does that it has to specifically know which column you are wanting it to return so that is very important so now uh, so everything is done here now again as i was mentioning if the address of a person id is not present present in address table report null instead so this is being taken care by left john right so if uh, this uh, this thing is not present in address table so any so for example one uh, alan wang for them the person id is not present on address table right so since it is a left join it is going to return null values in the city and state columns so so even if uh, like it is mentioned explicitly we do not need to do anything and now we can try to run this code to see if there is any error in this um i don't think there should be an error but this is how this is how we try to build up the code like we we need to understand what is being asked and what we are you know we can do and what we cannot do so okay so everything looks good accepted uh, there is uh, we you can just click here to see if whatever your output was and what is the difference between your output and the expected output so since there is nothing highlighted so there is no difference what we can do is go ahead and submit it um yeah so it's accepted and uh, it took 407 milliseconds so yeah this is how we uh, do this uh, in the next video uh, i am going to uh, take up more questions try to explain in such detail let me know if you found this useful like share subscribe uh, let me know what your thought process are should i go in more depth or uh, should i be to the point or like whatever your suggestions are let me know and see you guys in the next video